Hey guys, it's Chloe, and I'm about to interview Nicole Snooky Palizzi, and let's see if she's home. Hey! Hey, Hooker. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you. I know everyone at HollywoodLife.com is so excited. Thank you. Come on in. One thing that I want to talk to you about that everyone is so excited for mm -hmm. is Lorenzo's first birthday is coming up. So exciting. Now, are you going to have some big bash, kind of like Tori Spelling, like rents an entire circus for her kids? Um, I don't know. I feel like the first birthday it needs to be outrageous. Uh -huh. So I could do farm animals or zebras, not lions, because okay. that's scary. <laughs> that but I definitely want to do something crazy. Okay. Yeah. And you know what milestones though has Lorenzo reached? I mean, is he walking, eating real food like meatballs and pickles uh, yet? Or? He actually <laughs> tried meatballs last Sunday dinner and he loved them. He eats eggs, so he eats um, food now. Like okay. Normal people. So you don't sleep. Pretty much. I, mean, I don't sleep. So you're working no. nonstop. Yeah, basically. I mean, being a mom is like a full time job, but I love it. He's right. like my little baby and he'll always be my baby. Now, are you looking to have another baby soon? Because I know that you had told me mm -hmm. before the interview that you want eventually to have four kids. Yeah. Well, I actually thought I was pregnant last week. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. Really? Yeah, and I took a pregnancy test and I wasn't. Okay. Um, yeah, but it would be so. a good thing if you were pregnant. You you definitely want yeah, to expand. Yeah, I mean, I want three more kids, but um, and I would love to have one now, but my house isn't ready, so I can't have two kids down here in the basement. Now, there are a lot of other celebrities that are actually going to be giving birth this summer. Now, two of which, Kim Kardashian, Kate Middleton. Mm -hmm. Would you want to plan a play date for Lorenzo with Kate Middleton's children? Of course. Okay. I feel like her children are going to be gorgeous. And is she having a girl or boy? We don't know yet. We're not sure yet. We're hearing a girl. We know that Kim is going to be having a girl, my sources mm -hmm. tell me. Now, do you think that Lorenzo would fit in well with the royal family? Probably not. Okay. He'd Why? probably <laughs> fart and throw up everywhere. And they'd be like, ew. But... Would you, you know. would you want to go over there, though, to England and hang out with Kate and maybe have I'd probably have her come here. Okay, yeah. So it's more relaxed and she's not feeling uptight and, you know, just, like, relax. And Kim, you know, I know you've given her pregnancy advice on mm. what to wear, what not to wear, and she hasn't taken your advice. She's wearing very tight I'm just clothes. trying to help a sister out <laughs> here. Um, and I feel like she feels uncomfortable. Like, I see all the pictures. Her shoes are really tight. And yeah, high. I mean, just put on some slicky slippers and... Relax. Seriously. Now, you do have something coming out, though, that I think that they could both use. You have some baby sunglasses called Enzo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Well, I just launched my baby sunglasses, and we're doing a contest right now. So we have, like, a million, um, you know, babies in the sunglasses. Well, not a million, but a couple babies in sunglasses. Um, and one of them is called Enzo's after Lorenzo. And then I have girl sunglasses. So, you know, it's kind of like my first baby line. Well, I think Kate Middleton, Kim, you guys should enter the contest, and we'll rig it so that you guys can win, and we'll send them sunglasses. Yeah, only if she hangs out with us. Yeah, only only if you come here to Jersey. Now, you also aren't done with reality TV. You no. and JWoww are actually going to be embarking on another season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just got greenlit for another season. We're very excited. Um, so we're going to start filming that soon. Um, Where? Well, I'm thinking maybe we should go down the shore for maybe Lorenzo's Smart. first um, summer down the shore. I mean, obviously somewhere where you know, it's right. been rebuilt and um, safe for him, but I think that's a great idea. Now, are you going to be living at home while you film, or are you actually going to move in again with her and have your own place? Um, well, I'm not going to move in with Jenny, because mm -hmm. she she's doing her own thing, but um, I'll probably move in down the shore somewhere, or, you know, wherever we decide to film. Will Gianni be on it? Yeah. Okay, of good. I feel like the show needs to be real and about your life, and Gianni is my life. Right. And Lorenzo. Now, speaking of Gianni, you guys, or, sorry. Now, speaking of Gianni, you guys are planning a wedding, and mm -hmm. what progress have you made with this walk down well, the Well, I just started to Google wedding dresses. Okay. So that's the first step. I mean, you have to start somewhere, and um, we're starting to maybe think of venues to where we should do it. Where so. are, you, are you thinking to stay in Jersey? It's going to be in Jersey. Definitely. Yes, everything in Jersey, and I just want it to be, like, true to us. Right. You know? Now, are you going to film it? Everybody seems to do a wedding special these days. Mm -hmm. I mean, if MTV wants to film or anybody wants to film, I don't see why I not. will film it. I think it's um, ratings gold. I think yeah, it will I feel happen. like it's good because the fans have seen me, you know, 21 years old, getting arrested, being a drunk slob, <laughs> and now they've seen me give birth to Lorenzo. Now I'm a mom, so it's only right for them to see my wedding. I'm, you know, now speaking of living here in the house with Gianni's family mm -hmm. upstairs, what are some of the pros and the cons? Um, well, the cons is we can't scream and yell at each other. Okay. 
um, because I would love to do that. But he's like, shh, my parents will hear. I'm like, all right, whatever. So when we have our own house, then we could scream at each other and throw shit and be awesome. But um, the pros are, I mean, say me and Gianni want to go for a run together outside. Um, his mother can watch the baby. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, anytime we need help with Lorenzo, his mother can watch the baby. So that's like, you know, it really helps us out a lot because once we move out and, you know, we need somebody to watch the baby, you're no one's going to be there. You're not going to have a built-in babysitter anymore. No one's going to be there. So as of right I'm now, I'm assuming you don't pay them advantage. to babysit Lorenzo. No. No. It's their Probably job. Not. They're grandparents. Seriously. Now, you just said that you go running. I mean, you are really skinny, and I didn't believe it just how skinny you were. I mean, I knew you looked good, but I didn't realize mm-hmm. how good. How did you do it? Um, well, I started with my trainer, um, Halloween, and I've been training with him every day okay. since then. And So um, there's no, like, magic Snooki no. Jersey Shore pill? No. Okay. That would be drinking, <laughs> and that's not a good thing. So, um, I don't know, you basically just need to get your ass to the gym and eat right. healthy. And so how much weight have you lost total since giving birth to now? Um, probably, like, 50. Wow. So yeah. you really gained a lot of weight while being pregnant. I did. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you were to do it all over again in your next pregnancy, are you going to be more careful on what you eat? Not really. I would probably just like to work out more because I didn't work out at all when I was pregnant because I just had no energy. Kim's working out every day while being pregnant. So that's a smart thing? Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now you actually are coming out with a parenting book or a pregnancy book? What is uh, this? A pregnancy book. And okay. it's not advice. I hate when people say, oh, she's giving advice. I'm not giving advice. Shut up. It's more of like my experience <laughs> on how I viewed my pregnancy. So like telling all the stories and what I went through. So hopefully that could be relatable to all the pregnant ladies out there. So tell me one of the stories in the book. I mean, what is one of the craziest things that happened to you while being pregnant? Um... Well, a big chapter I just wrote is peeing yourself all the time, whether you cough, sneeze. I thought that only happens to old people. No, this is serious. Laugh too loud or, like, get scared. Literally, piss is dribbling down your leg, and you have no control. So what is the solution? Kegels. You have to do your kegels. Okay. So, like, let's do them right now. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. I feel like you could tell I'm doing it. No, I don't think they can tell we're doing it. We'll ask our readers if they can tell, but I don't know. Like, am I doing it now? You have to do your Kegels, so it helps push the baby out, and also you don't piss on yourself all the time. That is really good advice. Well, Mm -hmm. you're full of knowledge, so I'm sure that everyone is going to want to buy this book. You seem like a really good mom, and it looks like you have everything together, and you've come so far. Mm -hmm. I've been recapping you and your life for so many years. I'm so sorry. I... (laughs) I am too. That's a no, sin. I'm really so proud of you, and this is just really Thank awesome. Thank you.